contention. Fouts matured into the game's most prolific quarterback and the centerpiece of the most sophisticated passing attack in pro football. With Fouts at the controls, the Chargers blocked a little better, played a little harder, and drove themselves beyond even their own limits. Ben's leadership, courage, and charisma made the Chargers three-time division champions. And only one man in NFL history has thrown more times for more completions and more yardage than Fouts. But it was his competitive instincts and the confidence that bordered on arrogance that made him a great quarterback. You better have a cocky, arrogant quarterback playing for you or you're in trouble. Uh, because those offensive linemen and those other guys in that huddle, uh, if they see a milk toast playing quarterback for them, they're not going to feel that confident themselves. When we have some down situations, you know, third and long, he comes to the house and says, hey guys, just give me a couple seconds, I'll get the big play. Okay, listen, we're going downtown now, so give me extra time. The look in his eyes, stepping into that huddle, was like, you got to believe. You got to know that this thing is going to happen. All right. We got a 088 now, Gary. If you get press, run me a 7, okay? You got good depth on your 8, though. Split left, Liz. 088 on white. Ready? Leadership qualities. I mean, other guys, if leadership is thrust upon them, uh, they accept it. But Dan Fouts insists upon it. Hot, but hot. He won't accept anything else. Let's have a look, Jay! Dan is a fierce competitor. And when he's out on that field, people's emotions and their feelings are secondary to what it takes to win the ball game. And I understand that as a player who's played with him for quite some time. Some people don't. Come on, run out of the brakes now! Lean it on Run out of the brake! You run out of the brakes. I'm running out the brake! Tippy tore like a You don't like to find another damn tight end! I will. And you're out of here. You're out of here. Some people think that Dan is a little overzealous on the field, but I think Dan is the main reason for the success that we've had as an offensive unit since I've been here. He holds 42 team and seven NFL records, led stirring comebacks, and starred in the greatest games. A Hall of Fame induction is certain. His familiar number 14 will be permanently retired. But after all the records are forgotten, what will endure of Dan Fouts is his toughness and character. I've covered the Chargers for 25 years, and I've, I've known a lot of players that I liked better than Dan Fouts, but I can't think of any that I admired more or any that I respected more than Fouts. The new generation of the San Diego Chargers will be led by the defense, with three athletes in particular pointing the way. It's just the new type of attitude that we have here and uh, the relentless style of play you know, that uh, we exhibit every Sunday. Uh, we attack people. We don't sit back and uh, play passively anymore. We put the pressure on them, and I think that's the biggest difference. Defensive end Lee Williams, number 99, spearheads the Chargers' pass rush. Although he seldom played with the same starters from week to week, Williams was still the team's quarterback sack leader for the third straight year. got help from a brand new source in 1987. A daring draft day move by the Chargers front office secured the services of all pro linebacker Chip Banks. And Banks rapidly proved why he deserves his highly regarded reputation as one of the best defenders in the NFL.
Chip Banks, he's made everybody better on our team. He has a tremendous amount of talent, and everybody looks at him and says, I'd like to be born with that much talent. And he's been as motivated to win as, as anybody in our football team, and, and people can see that. And when they see that in him, they get excited, and they want to play better. And it's all towards a winning cause, and Chip has made a tremendous difference in our team. There's no question about it. Chip Banks comprises half of one of the best outside linebacking tandems in the game today. His partner is team captain Billy Ray Smith. Straight smoke one, ready? Nice one! Nice. One left! Watch the bomb this way, this way! In 1987, Smith put together the best season a Charger linebacker has ever had. He led the team in tackles, forced fumbles, recoveries, and interceptions. He captained the defense, called the signals, and provided leadership. For all this, Billy Ray Smith richly deserved to be named the Chargers' most valuable player. It's really the thrill of competing. I mean, it's a chance for, for myself and for all those other guys. It's a privilege really to have gotten play, but it's also a chance for us to exist at an intensity level that no, nobody else, I don't think any other profession has that kind of intensity to it. Every play, there's a chance, you know, you're going to knock somebody's block off or vice versa. And the intensity level is so high that it's just a rush to be out there and to be able to play and to experience that. All right, fellas, way to go, baby. Score on defense, that's super. We got him shut out right now, let's keep it rolling. Billy Ray Smith will lead the new generation of San Diego Chargers as they seek to continue the improvement begun in 1987. One of the greatest Chargers of all time has finally said goodbye. Dan Fouts will be missed, but now it is time for his leadership role to be assumed by others. It is a challenge the young Chargers are eager to accept. Team ownership and management are also committed to winning, no matter the cost or risk. This is something Charger fans both know and appreciate. The torch has now been passed. The new generation of San Diego Chargers is determined to exceed last year's goals and go forward in 1988.